is everybody. I'm Tanya Lee, the Shadow Priestess of Harmonia. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, this is a daily tarot reading for all signs. Typically, this is exclusive content over at my membership area, but every once in a while I post it publicly so that you guys can get a taste of what it's like over at the members area for a small monthly fee. You get access to everything. Uh, it is a vault, so and it's been around for over a year at this point, so there's lots of uh, readings there for you to check out, um, and we never know what we're going to get with the daily ones uh, and it's posted daily so just a reminder that they are still timeless and when you feel guided to look at it so there may be messages here for you um, but if not uh, just uh, don't uh, take it it's no big deal okay a <laughs> couple announcements to make uh, just to let you guys know mastering the mirror my workshop for shadow work um, to take charge and take stock of your life is coming July 8th it begins July 8th um, there are only three spots available um, that are left. Uh, it is only a class of 10. Uh, we keep it small and we keep it real. Uh, it is something where we're going to check in. It's accountability uh, workshop, so you check in weekly. Um, but it also, also is meant for those of you who cannot make it um, for recorded um, areas here too, so that you can watch it at your own pace as well. But the check-ins obviously are on Saturdays. Uh, so it is recorded just in case you can't make it. Uh, it is designed here to also be able to follow the pace, but also have the accountability of the group with you. And yes, I do the work with you as well. Um, so if that's something that uh, you want to check out, go to my website, Harmonia Friends. That's where you find all of the information um, when it comes to uh, my uh, workshops coming in place here. Okay. Uh, and my tier two members get a big discount. So make sure you take advantage of the discounts if you are a member. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start here with our water signs. We're going to shift gears here too and focus on to the cards. Just to let you guys know, we're using the Oracle deck for the love of dragons. The literary tarot, which is going to be the main deck here for each element. No reversals on that. And then the main cards here for each individual signs will be using the Luna Sage Soul deck here. Okay, and reversals are up for these ones. All right, let's get started, shall we? It's been a while since I've been on. I've been in hiatus here taking a uh, taking a little leave, a break here to uh, feel refreshed, uh, to visit family and hang out with friends. Um, so I am happy to be back and my lives will be posted again regularly on Sundays. Uh, and the July readings already are in uh, progression here. So you'll start seeing them posted over on YouTube. Make sure you guys are following me on YouTube um, to uh, make sure that you can see your readings there. All right. Let me timestamp this. You guys know the drill. Make sure you check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Uh, Cross-watching is welcome if you're dealing with other individuals, but it's not always focused on love. Let's get started. Let's say... Uh, Almost four minutes in. Here we go. <clears throat> Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters. Spirit, what is going on for my water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Here we go. The fairy tailiest. The fairy tailiest. Hmm. <clears throat> is there something here that feels unbelievable to you? Let's see what the book has to say about this card. This is number 34, which comes to a seven. <clears throat> I feel like there's options coming your way, water signs, but let's see what the card has to say. Einstein once said, if you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. Now is the time to let yourself sink into the wonder imagination of a good tale. Also, it's time to remember that your life is a fairy tale. As a myth maker, 
it's your job to remember that impossible things happen every day and that once upon a time is really here and now there's power in your true life fairy tale water signs live your tale today so magically that even the dragons have a hard time believing it's true now you may um maybe there's something going on in your life where it's kind of hard to fantasize right now to make it possible uh, i feel almost a hardship here as well uh too good to be true energy it feels like let's see what the literary tarot deck has to say now this deck is based on books so sometimes i'm referencing then referencing the book just because of the i like to know what tales they're from <laughs> All right, no reversals on these. What's this fairy tale about for my water signs? What's this fairy tale about? What are they fantasizing about? Well, the Eight of Ink is the Eight of Wands in this deck. Um, this is usually messages, something coming in quickly. Um, but who is coming towards you on that trail? And I'm curious as to what that trail, uh, which book that... Uh, is inspired by that art. So we're gonna look at that because I'm curious. Mm. Two eights. Now we have the eight of parchment, which is the eight of pentacles here. Now this was based on an opera. I did read on this one yesterday um, for my last uh, daily that I did. But there's something here about it being on stage, something here you're working on something that you're creating here within your life that feels like you don't have all of the parts that you may have to scout it out. You have to go the distance here. All right. Uh, you have to go on an adventure. Um, as quickly as you want this news to come in, I feel like you are creating something here or the masterpiece isn't quite finished just yet but I keep seeing the strings attached here as well. And some of them are broken. Let's see what the eight of ink is because I'm curious as to what book that represents. So let's see. Ah, Leaves of Grass, Walt Whitman. Your momentum has such uh, courage, it deserves exhalation points. Like a rock tumbling down a hill or a stream that becomes a torrent, embrace the velocity and delight in everything encountered along the way. There's no stopping you now. Again, I feel like you're in charge here, water signs, or you're being pushed to go the distance, go the journey with not necessarily having all the parts in place here. Um, there's something here where I feel incredibly focused on how to make things happen. And some of you may feel like you're a little bit blind to the situation here. All right, let's see what the Luna deck has to say for all signs. Here we go. We have Pisces. We have Scorpio. And we have cancer. All right, cancer, let's see what's going on here. Five of swords. Hmm. King of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And the fool, you have a new start, Aquarius energy. Um, which are you on the roll, though, of the Five of Swords? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because I feel like there's some things that you can be very shielded by cancer or, well, or willing to defend, willing to break hearts, willing to uh, get ahead. There's something about you getting ahead. You have been working hard on your material or structural portion of your life, whether it is the people that are surrounding that structure, whether it is you trying to find a new home or a place, 
Others of you is trying to find a new career. Some of you, it's a lot of different facets. But this is your masterpiece, I'm hearing. And you are going backwards in a sense of you are, you are doing something courageous. Um, you're sick and tired of this fairy tale not working out in your favor. And I do feel a massive amount of aggression that is actually stepping you up. It's making you put it more in your masculine energy. You do not have to be a masculine. But when I think of the King of Pentacles, I think of someone pretty practical um, who's building something. You know, they say community leader here. Um, you are a very generous individual. You are very reliable. But there's something about this generosity and this reliability that has to start with you versus needing it from another. And I feel that you've been playing small. I feel that you have allowed others to trample on you, to manipulate you, to control you, and to control where you want to be or how you want to be seen. And this part of you is feeling like, meh, I'm going to work on my well-being. I'm going to work on my material possessions. I'm going to work on my business. I feel very business oriented. It's all business right now for you, Cancer. But you're choosing to have a fresh start. You're choosing not to allow things that um, may not come in in a fashion here. We never know what's going to happen on set, right? The set could crash. Um, <laughs> what is the play? I think there's a play series called Everything That Goes Wrong. I think my brother just actually went to go see one, the Peter Pan one. But the whole thing is, is, is kind of a comedy of the things that have gone wrong. I feel like a cancer here has had a lot of things go wrong on any time that they try to pull the strings or have things work a specific way. But now it's like, I'm going to go the distance, um, maybe not knowing or having all of the answers or what lights me up or what lifts me up, but I am going to really work on myself. And so I have a cancer here who is really working hard on themselves, um, having a very impulsive start to do something a little bit more challenging. You're not just going head first here. It's like, I bet you what it would feel like to do a, a backflip. You are doing things differently uh, than what others have not seen of you before, because I think you've always taken a safe route or a, a route that where you have played smaller. And this is something here where you have a new perception, a new perspective of what is coming your way. So I do see a lot of faith, but also working with the universe and having fun with it. Okay. Now, some of you, this fun could be collaborating with another, um, taking the journey, taking the ride. Others of you, you're doing this ride on your own. But I feel like for some of you, you may be traveling or travel. Some of you I keep seeing as a traveling writer. If you're not a traveling writer, it's journaling. Um, but I feel like as you take this journey, you're realizing um, that nothing's stopping you. All right. Uh, you'll, you're, you're not allowing anything to get in your way. And when fear comes in that place, you really look at it and manage it. Um you control it. And I think the only way to control it right now is through your material possessions or um, some of you, it is abundance. It's money. All right. It's like, this is what I can control right now. And this is where I'm going to put my effort and work into. So uh, you are building big dreams right now. That's what I got here for cancer. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio next. Scorpio is up. Scorpio. Oh, well, we got the tower. Something's faulty is breaking. Magician. Oh, look at you fantasizing here. Oh, and the two of cups. You got a new relationship in your life. This could be a new friendship. This could be a new lover. Um, but this is something here where you didn't let the fantasy go. I feel for a lot of you, you fantasized about having a friend or a lover like this. <laughs> but it's never uh, worked out in the past for you. 
I got a Scorpio here who has really gone the distance. Now, there's something about your travels, your journey, and some of you met this person while you were traveling, while you were working. And if you're not traveling or working, it's it's vacationing. But there's something here about this individual being at a distance from you, okay? But I feel like there was something that you were focused on that really wasn't working. You may have missed this um, scenario or not seen it for what it is, but you have heavily a relationship here where it is an unbreakable bond. It is something here that is going to shock you. But in order to get that, something had to break. All right. Someone here was in a false foundation. So either this individual was going through um, a situation where they couldn't be with you or they couldn't start something with you, Scorpio. I feel you have been focused on your own work, your own endeavors, your own life and have allowed. And some of you, the, the, the what was the faulty foundation was something that you were dealing with. But something here got pulled and it's shocking. And it is something here. I love that you start here with the magician, which is the first card that the fool runs into here. And this has been a long time coming. You've actually manifested this person way, way before you even intended this to uh, happen. But there is a connection here or an unbreakable bond uh, where I do feel uh, some of you are either going to be moving, others of you moving in with one another, others of you are going to make this official, um, whether this is official relationship, whether this is officially um, partnering with an individual to start a new dream. This is partnering. This is something here where it's not like all my dreams are coming true. It's kind of like you're living it now. Now it's kind of like you're starting to see the dreams. Now it's you're starting to see the dreams become a reality. Um, and there's something about this individual that really sets that straight for you. Um, here, Scorpio. So I see heavily uh, a very loving relationship, friendship, compatibility. Um, I do feel the two of you are a power couple. Uh, both of you either are in the same line of work. If you're not in the same line of work, it's kind of like being very like-minded or complementing one another. Maybe you're, you have stronger school, skill sets than this other individual and they have stronger skill sets of, of something here that you may lack a little bit. But I feel a power dynamic uh, where there's almost like a pinky swear of always being there for one another. And this is a really strong relationship. But I also feel like some of you had to go through uh, it wasn't it wasn't quite lined up. So you may have met this person earlier on your journey or um, someone was going through something here. OK, that had not ended, but something's ended now. So this is coming in. OK, and some of you may be shocked with uh, this connection. Some of you, this is a reunion. All right. That's what I got. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Pisces is up. Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, runs away, <laughs> wins the race here, but with the Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords. You're not making any quick moves. In fact, um, man, you're really defensive when... <laughs> okay, I got a Pisces here who's pretty defensive when it comes to um, their future, where they're going. Um, I feel like your nose is to the grinder here with um, going the distance, um, taking the actions here. But there's something about news coming your way. You have some kind of news about an opportunity coming your way, Pisces. Now, you're used to doing things on your own or a particular way. All right. So I feel like you could probably use some help here. Things are breaking a little bit. But I also feel that you are in the long run <laughs> wanting to do something on your own. This is a long-term dream. But this is also something where you have had long-term goals of having this um, be practical. 
slow and steady wins the race. And that's the mentality that I feel a Pisces is really at if you were resonating with this. But you're also pretty defensive when it comes for asking, you know, getting help, um, wanting to do it on your own. I almost feel hyper independence uh, energy here for Pisces if you resonate with this. Uh, but you're on guard. And it's funny because it's the eight of wands and the nine of wands. And it's kind of like, what is this news that you're hearing? Why do I feel like I got a Pisces here where someone wants to assist you and says, hey, I could help you out. Or, hey, um, you know, this is love. This could be somebody new. OK, but you are defensive. Um, there's nothing there, there's nothing that this person can say to you that makes you feel like I've heard that before or I know what this is about. Like there is a premature, premature, that's what it is, the page of page energy. Um, not immature, but a premature uh, assumption of what this is about because you've been through things similar. So I don't feel you are ready to take on the help, the assistance, or getting to know this person on how they can fit your needs. I feel pretty defensive when it comes here, okay? Um, you think it's an ambitious approach. Some of you are just shocked that this person would even approach you, uh, especially, if, and, and they may be younger than you. They may be younger than you. And it may, you may be rolling your eyes here a little bit because you're a little bit more seasoned. I just feel like I got a Pisces here who's more seasoned than this individual. And it's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, this is this rodeo ain't new to me, right? I'm not new to this. Um, but this individual is very inspired by you and has big ideas. Um, and I do feel that you're defensive about these ideas because you don't want to take away from this long-term dream or long-term goal, or you're not seeing something for what it is because of how ambitious or um, easygoing this person is. They're also not afraid to make mistakes, I hear. Where you have made mistakes prior, Pisces, and are very cautious to allow this person in. Um, this individual here uh, is persistently going to be asking you, hey, I want in. I don't, even if, especially if this is for love, I do not feel like this person giving up. Um, it's like, you may say no, and it's like, okay, well, we're going to start off as friends. And you're just observing this person. They're pretty persistent um, of walking or being in this journey with you. There's something about your demeanor that really inspires this person to be a better individual. So I think that you're just a little bit, a little, just a, just a tad just a tad here, Pisces, <laughs> defensive, like get away from me. I'm on guard. Okay. And probably cause you've been hurt. I mean, the nine of wands is usually someone here who's been really ultimately hurt. Um, so you're definitely not buying into what this person's persistency is, but this person wants to prove it to you. So the question here for you, Pisces, are you willing to allow them to prove it to you? Or is it a, way, is it a time waster for you? Now, you all are in different parts of the journey here. Some of you uh, may attempt it and just kind of see where things come out here, okay? Some of you, this is an intern, especially if this is work. It's someone here who's younger that you're just kind of giving them a shot. All right, that's what I got. All right, let's see what's going on next for the fire elements. We have the fire signs up next. And do a quick shuffle and I'll be back.
All right, let's see what's going on for our fire signs. Our fire signs are up. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. What's going on for my fire signs? Here we go. The playmates. You got a new soulmate here. Is is there a soulmate here? Uh, something being about being playful here. Let's see what the book has to say about playmate. This is a 16 comes to a seven. Seven to me is always a little bit of a fantasy number, but it's also uh, something about uh, options and uh, opportunities. The playmates, fire signs. Now is the time to play. Whether you're working on a goal, busy with achievement, or attempting to make a major discovery, stop and play. It can seem counterintuitive, but play is the highest form of research. Einstein said that. It leads to untold new insights, inventions, and flat-out joy. Oh, yeah. I feel like a soulmate here is going to bring out the joy for you, okay? And joy is expansive. Oops. This thing loves to pop out every once in a while, so let's just fix that. Joy is expansive here, fire signs. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Let your spirit take wing by giving yourself the updraft of play. Have you been all work and no play? Mm. There's an opportunity here to be more childlike, um, enjoy. And I want to say this has to do with a relationship or the individuals around you. Some of you, a playmate could be your own child if you have children. Let's see what the literary deck has to say. No reversals on the initial story of the fire signs. The star. What you're dreaming about. Again, kind of a childlike energy here with Aquarius. All right. You're healing. Um, there's something here about healing your childhood wounds. Mm. And the Ten of Wands. More children involved in this, right? Um, burdened. You're healing, but also you're burdened by not, I almost feel oppressed. I almost feel this level here of um, afraid to dream big, afraid to have faith now because things have not been working in your favor. This is a very, this feels like a very dark card. So let's see what the literary uh, deck has to say, because I don't know which books these are representing here. So let's see with the star first, um, what is being represented here. Ah, so this is from the book, Emily of the New Moon by Ella Montgomery. Even with the many hardships you've endured, fire signs, you have a gift that sustains you and longs to be shared. A path that beckons you forward. You need only remain courageous, open, like a child. There is something here where I feel almost like a childhood dream or fantasizing about this since you were a child, but there's playfulness that has been mm, dimmed, uh, taken away. Maybe you grew up too fast. Maybe you had a lot of hardships in your life, um, but there's something here about feeling the burden by, you know, you, you feel guilt or shame. It's, there's a guilt or shame feeling um, of wanting this, mm, of wanting this. Let's see what we have here. What book is represented here in the Ten of Ink? Now this, ah, I knew it. It's, it's a scarlet letter. <laughs> okay. This is by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I feel guilty or shameful for wanting something that lights you up, that makes you feel like a kid again. It's only a single letter made of cloth and sewn upon your breast, like the scarlet letter A. Remember, she was marked. But it's heavy. Even as you gain the trust of those who doubted you, finding solace, more obstacles await, ensuring your endless loneliness. 
there's something here that you've wanted since a child. And I feel this energy of feeling guilty or shameful for wanting this so badly. Um, but I, I, whatever it is lights you up, makes you feel good. And this could be a person. So let's see what the Holy Grail deck has to say here for my fire signs. We're going to break it down by signs now. We have Aries. We have Sagis. And we have Leo. Reversals are up. Let's see what's going on for Leo first. Timestamp this. All right, Leo, here we go. Oh, Scorpio energy, death right off the bat. Five of Swords here and the Page of Cups reversed. You're fighting this transformation, Leo. You're fighting it. Um, I feel fear for wanting something really badly. And I do feel like there is an offer that has been sitting on the table for quite some time for this Leo. Um, but there's fears of taking this or getting involved in this. And this is about to change for you in a huge way. I feel this energy though, of you fighting it, <laughs> fighting this change. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna feel so guilty or people are gonna look at me like I got, you know, um, I don't know, I feel guilty. I feel shameful for wanting this, for taking this, for getting involved in this. But man, it's like, if I don't take this opportunity, this once in a lifetime thing, I may, may never know what's in that, what's in that bottle. And I feel like there's something here that's washing upon the shore that you've been fantasizing or wanting for, and your intuition here, you've been fighting it. It's that soft voice that you've been fighting it, but you've been listening a lot to your ego or how others may perceive this. But it's kind of like, I have to see what's in that bottle. I want to know what's in there. And some of you are afraid that if you do not look in this, this will be your last opportunity. And some of you, it may be. So this is what's on the fence right now. I feel like you have a lot of individuals that have high expectations on you, Leo, to do things a particular way. Not necessarily the way you want to, but you are cradling something that is like a baby to you. It's new. It hasn't been nourished to its fullest extent. And you haven't really allowed it because you have been in a conformity here about how others feel. Maybe you're a heavy people pleaser, right? This is changing in you. It's 100% changing in you. This is something here where you might be fighting this battle, but it's happening inevitably. It's death. There's a new chapter here. And the new chapter here is if you allow this, because it's not always sugar-coated, great, all right? This is going to be a choice for you. If you allow your ego to run charge to not allow this, you can see this slip away. You will never know what's in that bottle. So are you curious enough because I feel this excitement. I feel this like, oh, I just want to taste it. I just want to try it. This isn't something you've tried before. Okay. So I don't want to say it's no nasty X or a reunion. This is something here where you have not tried it before, but you've been fearful of taking it or trying it. So are you going to fight this or are you going to allow this? You can be on either side, right? You could fight for this playfulness, this dream. Um, having faith, you could rewrite your history here, but it's going to be up to you. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. <laughs> it's up to you. It's, it's reverse. So some of you may be missing out on it because you allow the fear to just be controlled by others. It just is what it is. All right. Let's see what's going on for Saggies. Saggies are up. Let's timestamp this. All right, Saggies, what do we got here for you? Two of Swords. Oh, nine of Wands here reversed, and the Three of Cups reversed. Okay. 
your boundaries are really, really poor when it comes to the people around you. And some of you, this is family. All right. There's also a child here. For some of you, there's a child here involved that you're very protective over. Okay. Um, you want what's best either for this child or for what's this childhood dream or something here that you want to nurture. Um, there are individuals here who are not seeing eye to eye with you. Um, who are making you feel guilty or shameful for wanting something better, whether it's for a child or whether it's for you. But I feel this energy of having poor boundaries, um, feeling beaten down. Uh, it's like, <laughs> I can't win. I, I, that's what I hear. I, I can never win. You can't win with these people. So your intuition here is really buzzing. All right. When I think of the two of swords, whatever this crossroads is, is usually the need to go within. So you may be stepping back or feeling pretty closed off right now, now to the point that your walls are really, really high with these individuals. You're protecting something, but your boundaries have been really poor with how these people make you feel guilty or shameful. That's a letter A. It's for Scarlet Letter. Um. Now, there may be more than one person involved in this, but it doesn't feel very friendly, does it? It doesn't feel very abundant. It doesn't feel like a community you want to be in. There, This is a very specific message, but if there is a child here involved, it's about protecting the child or protecting the children. This environment or these people around this child is no good, and you know it. All right. It's like bringing off all old memories of how you were raised or how you were brought off that you wanted better for this individual. Now, if this is not a child, this is something here about you that has not been nurtured or really allowed to be more playful. Um, you have not been with a mate or soulmates that really, really allow you to grow in a way that feels like you can be your authentic self. Um, I'm not saying you're playing victim, but I also feel like a victim of the circumstances here because you keep allowing these individuals or the specific person to do the same shit over and over and over again. And you can be as defensive as you want, but if you are still entertaining it, then that's the issue. So are you going to really say enough is enough. And that's what spirit wants to say, because I feel like you've been entertaining or doing the same cycle over and over again with this person or these people. And there's something here where your boundaries really need to be better when it comes to your peace of mind. Um, the most peaceful thing you could do for yourself or, or for this child, or for even if that child is you is to separate for your own peace, for your own sanity, but also um, being closed off to this uh, may mean that you have to cut people from your life that no longer serve you anymore. And some of you, that's family, and I can understand that being hard, but you are not getting abundance out of this. These people aren't helping you grow. They're taking you down. They're taking you down with them. So are you going to go down with, this, with these people or are you going to stand your ground? It's going to be up to you. That's what I got here for Sagis. All right. Let's see what's going on for Aries. Aries. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Leo energy here with the sun. The two of wands here reversed. And the tower reverse. Okay, you have things going on. So you're being a little bit more playful, lighthearted, optimistic. But here's the thing. There's people around you where you are, because when I see the tower reverse, it's always about the other people. Although you may, it may affect you. It's not taking away from you. All right. Um, it's, it's really more shattering the world of things that are around you. 
that were false. And I feel like you got a lot of fake people around you. And I know we're starting with the tower first, but it feels like inevitably uh, these individuals were no good for you anyway, Aries. Okay. Um, you are more playful right now. You are more lighthearted. You were definitely nurturing a new idea. If it's not a new idea, a new relationship, people may not like the new relationship that you're in or the new adventure that you're um, doing. But this was, what this is the, this is the truth of the matter. This lights you up. This person makes you feel playful. And if it's not a person, it's the endeavor that you're doing. It's lighting you the fuck up. It feels like you have faith again, which is what the star card is all about. But, you know, I also feel when I add those numbers, I get the 10 and there's a completion here of what truly makes you happy, what lights you up. And I feel like there's something here about this four leaf clover that this prosperity, this richness, whether it's in this relationship um, or this venture that you're on, is allowing you to be at your fullest potential and live it. And not everybody is meant to be on that road with you, all right? Not everybody is as ambitious or, um, I don't know, impulsive in the way that you have been. There's a boldness about you that you had options and you chose a road and you're like, no, I'm going this direction or no, this relationship's for me. And some of you, there was a family divide or a family tree here that did not want to see this, that did not like this person or did not like the direction you were going. So there is a lot of marking or it's feeling exiled. Some of you do feel exiled from these individuals, but these individuals blame you. And you, there's something about you sticking to your path, you being optimistic, you being lighthearted, you accepting it for what it fucking is, Aries that these individuals are going through massive hardships right now, destructions, foundations, loss of money, um, uh, fighting, uh, blaming, victimizing. But there's something about this projection here that, man, these people just do not like to see you light up. And no matter what they do or what they throw at you, I don't feel like you throw it in these people's faces. I don't think you are an individual here that, you know, listen, when you can get the revenge, hell, I'm all for it. If you can get revenge, you get revenge. It's like a cherry on the top. But you don't have to, you don't have to flaunt it. And there's something about you not flaunting this, um, you know, because you've been in the shoes here. So what some of these individuals are doing. So there's an understanding the villain and the hero role here. And I feel this level here right now. You are being showcased as the villain, but you are living the hero life, okay? And you're being very playful about it, but you are also not um, breaking individuals down. These individuals are breaking on their own because of your change. Uh, like it or not, these people are going through massive changes um, because of the consequences of, uh, of things that they've done with you as well, okay? It goes both ways. Karma goes both ways. Can't say it enough. So I do feel you have some abundance and prosperity coming your way. Uh, still stay ambitious. Still stay bold. Uh, don't uh, get too arrogant, though. Stuck up. Okay. Don't forget from where. And some of you have to hear this. Don't forget where you came from. Okay. All right. Let's see what the earth signs have got going on here. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a quick shuffle.
All right, let's see what's going on here for our earth signs here. All right, earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's going on for my lovely earth signs? The Sovereign. Let's see what the Sovereign has to say. Something here is imbalanced. I, don't, I feel like there's something imbalanced here going on. Equal give and take. Uh, that comes to a 15. That's a 6. Uh, let's see what the Sovereign has to say. Dragons have an innate comprehension of integrity, solitude, and sovereignty. You'll never meet a dragon that doesn't understand it is inherently worthy. Take a page from their book today. You have the right to want what you want, love what you want, go where you want. Say yes, earth signs. You have the right to be mistress of your own power and director of your own experience. Follow your bliss. Answer first and foremost to your innermost self along that path. You deserve this, but there's something here about something not being fair or not an equal give and take. And we're going to see, we're going to see what that's about, but I feel like you're on a journey here, which we all are on at some point, right? Let's see what the literary tarot has to say. No reversals on these. For our earth signs. Ah, well, there we go. Moby Dick. The devil. Capricorn energy. Earth energy. I love that they picked that for the devil card. <laughs> and we have here the page of light. And that's page of light is the cups. You're looking at your reflection here. And it looks like there's another relationship here evaluating something here look at that um happiness but someone here is also watching you hmm interesting there's an offer an opportunity someone is thinking about i don't know which book that is so we're going to see what page of light is i know the first one's moby dick um let's see what the devil card has to say first i'm reading these because i like to see with the book uh what they have to say, how it conspires with it. It says, look down. Interesting. It says, look down. And what both are these cards doing? They're looking down. They are at something, evaluating where their happiness is. Look down. See your feet tangled in your own rope, your desires threatening to pull you down into the depth. If you don't step away from the harpoon, you may lose more than your leg to the mad voyage. Obsessiveness, compulsiveness, can't get your mind off an individual, can't get your mind off an offer, not allowing breathing room, but there is somebody here watching you. Let's see what that page of light is about. Ah, this is great expectations. <laughs> This is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. As you forge your way, delight in the possibility of your prospects and your creativity. But this journey may be thorny. Remember that which is of great worth to you. Take heart and remain persistent. There are some things worthy of going after, just like how, you know, Ahab went after Moby Dick, but, you know, the ship got destroyed. Um, but there's something here about destroying you by going after this dream or wish or controlling it to the point where you have blinders on. But you also know that you deserve this. You want this. Um, and you will do anything at all costs to have this. So there is something here that you're really, all my earth signs are really focused on right now. And it's like, I deserve this and I will do what I got to do to get this. But a lot of you are obsessive, obsessive over this, but there's someone or something behind you that you're not taking stock of. Now, this could be someone here who uh, 
um, is missing an opportunity in a way that could be very fulfilling for you. Let's see what the Luna Sage cards have to say. Reversals are up now. Taurus. We have Capricorn. And we have Virgo. Virgo is up. Let me timestamp this. All right, Virgo. We have the Three of Pentacles, collaboration, working together. Ah, the Nine of Wands reversed. Judgment reversed. You're trying to make the shoe fit with a situation that you know you're not sure what it's going to be, but you feel it's the one or you feel this person's the one. And if you don't feel this person is the one, there's something here about working with somebody that you think is going to have something that, I don't know, there's, there's a particular person or situation here, okay, that you see the only way you'll be happy, the only way my Virgo will be happy is if they have this, if they obtain this. This is their Moby Dick, okay? <laughs> it really is. It's like, I want it. I, I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to collaborate. We have the same visions. It's going to be amazing. I feel a little bit of fantasy. I'm, uh, I feel a little fantasized here, okay? But the Nine of Wands is closure off defensive you don't have this someone has their walls up somebody who doesn't want this i feel like i got a virgo here who's actually been rejected by an individual and is persistent that they are the per <laughs> i'm gonna trigger the fuck out of some virgos here they either think that this person is going to be the one or this job is going to be it. This is this. It's you're making something fit that is not Cinderella, but they're shoving that shoe on anyway. Let's fix this. Let's reconcile this. Let's uh, not learn the lesson here. You're not seeing the bigger picture here. It's like someone puts a wall up, someone's running away from you, someone doesn't want something like you do, or you're not seeing changes at a job or an opportunity here, Virgo, yet you are still like, well, let me give it time. Let me keep working with this. Let me keep staying at this. This is really going to make me happy. This is really what I wanted, but it's not. Yes, you absolutely deserve happiness. You absolutely deserve to work with an individual or... Um, an environment, whether it's collaboration, that does feel like there's dedication, that does have um, shared visions, but also has different opinions and works with you and uh, is very rooted regardless of what your opinions are. You guys help each other. You build each other up or this job builds you up. But there's something here where it's not really working and there is an opportunity that you're fucking missing. Now, it doesn't have to be a person, but it could be something here that you just kind of put on hold or you put on the back burner. I mean, hell, I might be talking to a Virgo here who has a side business that, you know, they just don't have enough time to anymore because they're so focused on this. And this is what's going to make me happy so that I can have this. And once I have this, I'll be able to go back to the side thing. And the side thing is just sitting there watching you and doing shit. It's kind of like you buy vegetables and the vegetables sit in the fridge right? and you keep grabbing everything else. It's not healthy for you, right? The vegetables are just watching you as they rot. There's something here about trying to make something fit. And spirit is just saying, do you want to keep staying in this karmic lesson? You're, you are literally, do you want to take this as a lesson or do you want to take this as just a cycle that you're going to be repeating? Because this is a Virgo here who's about to repeat the same cycle over and over again. You're never actually going to catch 
the exact white whale because they're looking at something here that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to get you there or that person's going to get you there or that situation's going to get you there. It's however you take it. Whatever you're focused on or obsessed with being a particular way or this has to be in because I put so much time, I put so much effort into this. It has to be the one. How are you allowing magic? How are you allowing the universe to bring you something better? You're not. You're just repeating the same cycle again. You can change this 100%. Know your worth, but also know that you're worthy to have something better. Some of you think you know what, what makes you happy or you think you know you think that this person's going to make you happy, but there is something there that you are completely ignoring that has actually the potential to make you extremely happy. And that is extremely healthy, okay? Does it make you feel like you're chasing something? And that's what it feels like you're chasing. All right, let's see what's going on for our Capricorns. Capricorn. Star, Aquarius energy here reversed. Two of Cups reversed. And we have the Page of Swords. This is a very toxic relationship. Um, I got a Capricorn here who may be watching another individual go towards another relationship. And if they're not going towards another relationship, it's a, towards another dream or aspiration that really doesn't include them. It's toxic. This individual has no desire to look at you, to talk things out, to work it out with you. Um, they have lost faith, but it's also you have really disconnected and starting to lose faith too. There is no renewal. Uh, you do not feel aligned with this individual at all. Not anymore. Maybe in the past you have, all right? Um, maybe this was a really strong friendship or maybe this was a really, you know, strong relationship that you thought you would be your forever or this could be a forever job. Um, and if it's not a forever job, it's something here that you thought was going to be long lasting, unbreakable, not possible to not happen. And I think you had this reading, I want to say yesterday. I do feel you're observing and you're looking at an opportunity here to vocalize that you've had enough. All right. You've had enough of being ignored. You've had enough of observing or wishing upon something better. Now, some of you are this, this individual and this person's watching you, but somebody here is watching and ready to declare they've had enough. Um, spying. I feel like there's not trusting an individual. Maybe they're spying on you. Maybe you're spying on them, but you don't trust them anymore. There's, if there's a lack of faith here, and I definitely have a Capricorn here who is going through some kind of, it doesn't feel like a good breakup. It feels like something where you, you, you are really questioning this person's motives, what they've been, what, how they felt about you all along. Some of you are shocked or thinking like, oh my gosh, maybe they weren't the person I thought they were from the beginning. All right. And some of them weren't. But this true wake up call is to show you of how unfaithful this individual is to the circumstance when it comes to you. There is no happiness. They, they have a drive or something here about their own happiness or working or collaborating with another. And some of them already have another situation. And you may be seeing that or you may be feeling intuitively that connection that this person, something's off. But I feel this level of toxicity of uh, possessiveness, of um, just wanting to know the truth. But it's not a journey here that you want to be on anymore, okay? And I think that you were ready to cut it out or to state to this individual no more, or this person may be doing that to you. So someone here is has enough information now to know what an individual has been up to. And it's not honest, Someone here is also very afraid of confrontation. That's what I got. This thing loves the technical difficulties. Sorry about that, guys. My phone keeps uh, coming in and out of uh, StreamYarn. 
All right, let's see what's going on here for Taurus. Let's just say three minutes. All right, Taurus. Three of Cups. Four of Wands reversed. And the Nine of... Well, it's Hermit, but it's got a Nine here. Um, Virgo Energy. Jeez. All right, Taurus. This also feels like a third party situation here. And if it's not a third party, it's not being made a priority. Um, there is definitely something in the way. And someone here has feeling pretty isolated or you pushed yourself out. Um, I think you're wondering, like, <laughs> I just feel like the third wheel. I think I had this reading for you yesterday, too. I have a... The earth signs have a lot of third wheel energy in the past couple of days. Um, but this is about your circle. This is about the people that you're around. And I feel like someone here is obsessively feeling left out or in the cold. Now, this could be someone that is watching you. Okay. But this is definitely not feeling like unity. It's not feeling like a reunion. It feels separated. So someone here has definitely self-isolated or is keeping away from an individual, probably because they're hurt. Um, could be you, you could be very hurt. You know, it's like, you know, you come home and, and <laughs> whatever lights them up is another relationship it has nothing to do with you. And you see that you observe that it's almost like, I feel jealous. I feel like I got a Taurus here who's feeling jealousy or someone here is feeling very jealous of you having a connection that lights you up. Um, so we can go either way, but there is jealousy about who has the prize and this prize here um, feels like attention. I feel lack of attention here. I feel like I'm isolating myself. I'm feeling mopey that, um, I can't, this person doesn't see me in that light. And I feel the thing is, is that this person used to celebrate with you. This individual always puts you on a pedestal. And if it's not putting you on a pedestal, it's maybe you put them on a pedestal. Okay. But something has switched or shifted gears. You may have someone from your past who separated or left you, Taurus, who's watching you in another relationship and it pisses them off. <laughs> You know, it could be that too. All right. But they, they aren't approaching you. Th whoever is feeling isolated or alone is not approaching anybody. They're as single as can be, or they're, they're self isolating themselves. They're not trying to gain a perspective of this. This is, I feel wounded. I'm taking my ball and going home. Um, I'm so upset. I, don't understand what <laughs> I don't know my own worth. I'm hearing, I don't know my own worth. If this is you who just feels very isolated, you don't know your work spirits reminding you, you are worthy. It may not be with this person, but know your worth that you don't have to watch another person spy on another individual. If they're not looking at you, if they're not facing you, if they're not giving you the time of day, why are you fucking thinking of giving this person the time of day? Right. You can be happy. You are abundant. You have community and individuals around you or this person does, but they are so fucking mopey about what they lost that they're forgetting their own worth. Okay. And some of them thought the grass was greener and this is karma, but that's what I got here for Taurus. All right, let's move on to our final signs, the air signs. I'll be back. I'm going to do a quick shuffle.
All right, air signs, where are we at? Let's timestamp this for you guys. Let's just say 10 minutes in. All right, air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, what is going on for my lovely air signs? The brave. Hmm. Feeling Leo energy here. Now 28 comes to a 10. So something's in completion here with your courage, your resilience. Hmm. Feeling, I'm feeling the lion energy of strength. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what bravery has to say. It says, The brave among us understand the need to occupy the edges of things away from comfort and security to be brave you must be willing to go to the edge of your knowing and make yourself comfortable in the uncomfortable air signs when we take that risk we learn to trust our boldness and we get expansive views and an original perspective not possible for the center of the village inside the confines of a familiar life Dare to be bold, dare to be different, dare to say, well, what if, let me try it. You, you've been on the edge of something here, okay? Um, some of you have been on that edge for quite some time, and, and that's what's really uh, driving you because you believe that there's something better. Think of the edge, I think of the fool as well, right? The fool starts the journey. They have to have faith. They have to be optimistic, but you're sitting on the cliff here. Let's see what the literary tarot has to say. No reversals on the first initial story for our air signs. Now, we have the five of ink, which is the five of wands. Hmm. Trying to figure out what book th this is. Could it be the Phantom of the Opera? We'll see. We shall see. Oh, it could be Zorro. Four of Quills, which is the Four of Swords. That's the Walden poem. Mm. Let's see what the Five of uh, Ink is about. Now, that's just something that's very competitive. Competition, but... Let's see what it says. Oh, this is the Scarlet Pimpernel by Baroness Orzi. That's what the book is. They seek you here. They seek you there. Confrontation is everywhere. This is about fighting, competition. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. <laughs> okay. Accept the adventure. Prepare yourself for competition, but with a jaunt in your step and your wits at the ready. Well, you got to go after what you want. But some of you, you got people going after you while you're at home relaxing with Karen the deer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The four of quills. I got, I pulled this one yesterday, but I'll, I'll read what the little thing has to say in here about the four of quills because the four of quills is all about rest and so forth. But this is Walden by Henry Thoreau. It says, you sense the moment of retreat. Do not hesitate. You are a human, animal, mortal, temporary. You must honor rest as well as action. Seek sanctuary. Be still until you are restored to face the fullness of life. So this is about being still and going within. And some of you have that retreat or you have retreated to um, keep your peace, keep your peace. But there is something here that you really have to ground yourself with. It's either you going after and knowing that you got to keep the peace and the peace always starts with you and not worry about the competition, or you have individuals here who are going to be fighting for your attention. It could go either way, but let's see what the Holy Grail Luna deck has to say. We have Gemini, we have Aquarius, and we have Libra. Looks like we got all reversals for Libra. Libra. Let's see what all this, we're going to put them up right first because 
We want to see what it is. All right. We got the two of pentacles. Ugh. We have the temperance energy, Sagittarius energy, and the ace of pentacles. This isn't about you. This is about someone else. Okay. It took a lot of courage here for Libra to make their own peace with um, the things that went on in your life. And I feel that either you were competing for someone's affection, attention. And if you weren't competing for someone's affection, attention, it's just that you got tired of fighting for something that wasn't really giving you or making you feel good. Now, there is something that is happening where you gave yourself peace, where you took the bravery of saying, you know what? I've had enough. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be playing games. I'm not going to um, try to force something to fit. Uh, I'm not juggling this anymore. You just drop this. You're just like, this wasn't feeling aligned for me. This didn't bring changes that I felt I could adapt to. And something here has switched that I feel that someone or multitude, multitude of people, Libra, are watching how brave you are for choosing peace to realign yourself. You haven't given up, but you have definitely given up on an ind individual or situation where you put so much time and effort into it that it was like a rat race. You really weren't getting anything out of it and you weren't evolving either. So I feel that you are recovering, but here's the, here's what happens when you pull your energy back. Some, some of you, this is a twin flame. Okay. When you pull your energy back, when you realign your own masculine and feminine energy within, and I do feel you're more in the feminine energy of just being passive reserved, but it has great strength to hold back. You have been holding back, not necessarily in a way of, I'm not going after what my my dreams are or being open to it. You're holding back towards a situation that you put a lot of time and effort that wasn't really aligned to you. What's happening is it's attracting these opportunities, this person back around you, wanting you to play the game again. All right. Have you learned the lesson here? It is coming back. It is a cycle here that has not ended. Um, these are all reversed. So I feel this energy of someone also very angry that you've kept your peace of mind. And there's something with the quills here. And when I think of quills with the swords, it's about communication. And that's a lot of swords here, right? They're holding a sword here. So I'm really seeing uh, four or five swords here. Someone here has a really big ego, very egotistical. Um, doesn't, is doesn't want to lose you, but that most certainly wants to blame you. And if this is not a person, it's an opportunity here where you really tried to put into whether this was a job or something, maybe it was a boss or someone who was arrogant to you. But I feel this level of someone here who's very angry and it's like, I'm not finished or um, you can have this job again. Uh, th there's a, there's an offer here of where they feel that, <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go. I'm going to trigger the hell out of you. They feel what they have to offer you is doing you a favor. Just instead of giving you a whole bouquet, they're going to give you a little flower. No, see, I love you. And you're like, yeah, I've, I've been behind that mask before. I've been in this situation before. Um, I do not see you entertaining this. I feel that you know that it stunts your growth. Some of you financially <laughs> will stunt your growth, but it doesn't mean that this person or the situation isn't going to try to derail you. You're being asked to be brave and to remember your worth. It's really that simple. When you take a leap of faith here, the recovering and the peace here is like, I'd rather be alone than be with individuals or situation that makes me feel lonely or makes me feel lack. Um, the truth is, is this makes you feel closed, lacked. You kind of want to make a fist here and punch somebody. You might want to punch this person in the face. Not telling you to do that, but it's this level here of I've had enough. Um, 
you have someone here who's going to offer you something and it's going to, it's going to act, this person's pretty arrogant and pretty nasty, but I also feel like they're, it's here to disturb your peace. They may even be ballsy enough to just knock on your door. That's what I got. Okay. Um, but remember your worth, be brave. This per you have more to offer this person than this person uh, has to offer you. All right, let's see what's going on here for Aquarius. Aquarius is up. All right, Aquarius. Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. Uh, no, no go. Three Cups. No. 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 No, 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 no. Sit down. Sit down. Someone's not giving you time to think about something. Pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. I feel like this person here is about to push you right to a sit down mode of no. I feel on strike. I feel like you're having a strike moment with somebody or a situation here. You're on strike. You need time to think about this. This is not something where you're going to be rushing into. This is not something here that you are agreeing to and saying, yes, I am absolutely 100% doing this. This is for an Aquarius here who is stating right now to a person, I'll think about it. The problem is you have someone here who's taking a little bit of <laughs> being a little defensive um, and is pretty offended. Uh, that you have to think about this. No, you should, Aquarius, just be on this journey with me. What are you talking about? We have the same visions. We've always collaborated with us. We've always been dedicated. You've always been dedicated to me, Aquarius. You've always been there. This person is taking it hard. Could be a very good friend, could be a lover, but it's something here where they, this is on them. This is how they feel. By your time out, by you reevaluating and trying to clear your head is, and I, and I feel that you are a healthy Aquarius here who's not just saying, let me think about it and leaving someone hanging for months, all right? I feel like you're, you're mature enough. I'm going to give you a tip here if you are that person. I think you're mature enough to say, I need X, Y, and Z amount of time. And I promise I'll come back so we can talk about this. But you're not going to string a person along. It's not your intention to string this individual along. This is a friend. This is some of you, it's a lover. Some of it's your partner. But I feel this level of what you're about to embark to an individual is not good news. Okay. You're not going to feel good about this. Period. You don't want to hurt this person, but I got Aquarius here who knows that they're have <laughs> they're the bearer of bad news. That could be why you are being very cautious on how you approach this. Because there is something here where you're very determined to feel free as well. And you don't feel free with this individual. This person here kind of puts you on the mark and then you're kind of stuck in the mark with them as they progress. And I feel this level of I don't want to do that. I don't want to sacrifice anymore. It's kind of making a cross here. It's kind of like, I don't want to play martyr anymore to this. Um, so I do feel like you are finding a way right now. What you offer this person is, hey, let's be friends or, hey, I hope this doesn't disturb our relationship. But here's the, here's the thing. If this person is disturbed by this or they can't get over this, or they're not willing to talk it out or work it out with you, then this is a clear picture of what this person is on their journey. And it may not be with you at this time. Does that mean that you guys are going to break up or there's going to be a divorce or you're never going to talk to this individual? It may be for this part of the journey, but it doesn't mean that there, there is not an opportunity here to reconnect with this person. This person does feel like home to you. That's the problem. Some of you are at the same home with them. And it's like, I just really need some time here to evaluate this um, and how to state to them, because there's something here about being a people pleaser to state to them that uh, I'm not interested or that's not what I want to be or do anymore. 
or I don't want this relationship the way you see it or envisioning it. Maybe at one point I did, but I don't see that now. So what you're offering is kind of like uh, a peace, a peace offering, a peace offering, but you have no idea how this person is going to retaliate and spirits reminding you to be brave. Um, it's time to take the leap and you've been sitting on this far too long. You don't need to know if this leap that you're going is successful. You just know that you want to do it or you want to try it. That is a hundred percent your intuition. It's not your guilt or anything. And it's been something that you've been sitting with for a while. All right. Let's see what's going on here for Gemini. Our final reading Gemini. Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, Aries energy. And we have the Queen of Wands, more Aries energy in Leo and Sagittarius, but heavily Aries. Well, here's the thing you got someone new in your life. You do. And if they're not new, it's someone that you chose that has always had your back. And that emperor is looking pretty fine right now. And I love that you got two fours. You're very protected. In fact, someone may be very protective over you and your peace. But there's something here that is in the shadows. And you have a person here that does have your back or who watches after you. This could be even a boss. Okay, it doesn't have to be love. But if it is love, you have a very strong, protective individual, very heavily in their masculine energy, does not have to be a masculine, but someone here who is the epiphany of stability, of protectiveness, I got you, don't worry, always planning ahead, um, holding on. But their holding on is not to suffocate you, it's holding on to you to protect you, all right? There's someone within your vicinity who doesn't like this individual around you. Okay, could be an ex, could just be a family member, whatever. This person knows, the person who's protective over you, Gemini, knows that this person is lurking in the shadows, has not quite let go of you, but the same time will not approach you because they know who's watching them. <laughs> okay. Um, they do. I feel like as sneaky as somebody is or trying to get your attention, uh, you got another individual who's like, Oh, no way. You ain't, you ain't getting my bow. <laughs> right. Um, and this is really pissing this person off. It really is. Um, it's actually, kind of dampering their confidence here. But I feel, here's the thing. Whoever this person was that you you're, you have someone now who is very loving and watching watchful of you, okay? Uh, you, they, they really dampered on your confidence, your integrity here. I think that you used to be just as watchful and protective of the individual that hurt you. And there's something about this individual that was sly as a fox that lied a lot was sneaky, was uh, selfish. Uh, their ambition had to be about them, not about you. But this person needs you more than you need them. And there's something about Cupid's arrow for some of you. They love bombed you. But they also diminished areas of you that used to light you up and they took advantage of. And I feel that you have been rebuilding this and I do feel you have someone here who's always seen your worth or is just very protective. I mean, heck, it might even be a parent here, but will not let someone around you. And you may not even know this. Okay. It could even be energetically that these two feel each other, but I feel this energy that right now you are in recovery. You are taking a step back. Um, this step back is because, and it's just a peaceful feeling. I feel you've never really felt this loved or protective before with an ever, whatever situation you were going through. Some of you, I mean, the four, the four of uh, quills, the four swords could also be rest from recovery from illness as well. But I feel depleted. 
I feel dampened and I feel that this person wasn't either helping a situation or really took away or drained you. Uh, vampire, energy vampire is what I'm hearing. All right. But you are definitely recovering from this and taking a time out right now to really evaluate because you're at a completion and you just never had this point here to look ahead or look forward. Um, you've always been forced to take leaps or jump into things here, uh, being optimistic. And that's something that, you know, has always kept you going. But there's something different about it now. It's like, I really want to evaluate what's in front of me um, and have that time out. And you do have someone here who's not happy at all, at all, that you are regaining your worth here or wants to bring you down still, okay? They're kind of lurking in the shadows, but they will not approach you either because they know you're being watched. They know that you're protected. All right, guys, and that's what I have for the final readings uh, for Friday. Uh, thank you for those of you joining on YouTube for the public reading. Um, like I said, if this is something that interests you, go check out my website, Harmonia Friends. Uh, that is where you have the ability to sign up two tiers, tier one uh, or tier two. Tier two allows you to have all of those massive perks, which are the discounts and the meetups and the access point visualization meditations that are available on my website. Mastering the Mirror starts July 8th. Would love to see you there. Like I said, tier two gets $200, 250 off actually uh, of the program. So it is beneficial to be a member. All right, guys, you take care. See you next time.